the fact of the matter is, I've written a book about acts of conscience. Now, conscience is uh, this, as I said, this inner voice. It <coughs> isn't necessarily admirable. Um, a person can act on conscience um, to, to uh, uh, shout out a racist slogan. Uh, because they are, uh, they believe uh, a certain racial group is inferior, in accordance with their inner voice, their conscience. I happen to think that's reprehensible. But the person who uh, has uh, has acted that way has been, quote unquote, true to their inner belief. Um, it's not necessarily the case that a person who steps out of line and breaks the law or refuses to enforce it or disobeys an order is doing it for admirable purposes. Um, courage can be immoral um, as well as moral. Um, a whistleblower can be uh, right on and, and, and a, trying to expose a fraud. And a whistleblower can also be a little unhinged uh, and, and wasting the time of an agency. Um, so it's not as simple as every time the, d the lone dissenter shouts, we should all mm -hmm. take that as the truth. Clearly not. Um, that said, I do conclude the book by, belie by, by saying, uh, and I repeat a point made by Cass Sunstein, uh, the legal scholar. Uh, he wrote a book called Why Societies Need Dissent. Um, we need dissent, uh, and we need it uh, because we are prone to groupthink. We are prone to um, information cascades that lead us all to think everything's just fine because, the, because, because everyone else already said it's fine. Uh, look at the financial crash uh, of 2008. How many people who should have known better didn't say anything in time when there might have been something done about it. Um, I talk in the book about the um, Gulf oil spill. Uh, there were workers who knew that there were problems on that rig and safety uh, problems and, uh, and so forth, but they were afraid uh, to come forward. Uh, we need to create uh, a society where those who speak out have some mechanism to both be s protected from retaliation so that they're silenced and also to have their voices heard. Um, and it's true, you're right, uh, we can't hear, you know, there are some voices who will speak out who probably don't deserve uh, the attention. Um, but in my experience from, from having written this book, I think we need more we need to do more listening to the dissenters among us and not less. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and the leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.